Hey everyone, Marcos from Future Studio University here. With Harpy as a web framework, you have a solid foundation. And handling request headers is not a functionality you are thinking about when starting a new project or when developing your app. I mean, it's some kind of your thinking of front end and views and the API and structuring of routes and how to develop the endpoints. And at some point you are at the more advanced development stage. So you need to make sure or you're forced to make sure that you can handle request headers properly. And that's what this video is all about. We are going to access the request headers within, within Harpy. But uh, before we go into the, into the code, I want to make sure that you know that you can find the tutorial and the code for easy copy and pasting on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. Check it out. Okay, let's go to the code. I've already prepared a sample project or at least a sample file that makes sure that we are importing Happy correctly, create a server and add a connection on localhost with port 3000. So the next thing we're going to add is a route. It listens or we can just use the get method on the root path. And now we need to implement our handler function that makes sure that we are going to have access to the request headers. So within Harpy, you, let's save the headers in a separate variable. You can kind of easily access the request headers by using the request.headers. The return value is an object including the request headers that coming in with your request. <laughs> okay, let's console log it to make sure that we are actually getting the headers correctly. Now we need to make sure that we are going to reply something let's let's just return the headers as well okay that's our route it's very basic and simple the last part is we uh we need to start the server if something went wrong we throw an exception and everything went smooth just lock that the server is running at the given uri with port okay well now what we want to do is we need to we want to start our server, so it's listening at localhost on port 3000. And we are using a tool called Postman that you can, it's, an, it's a very great utility. You should definitely check it out. You can test your APIs and have accounts, sync it through with your team. However, let's create a get request at our URI. It's a localhost port 3000 root pass. And so let's change the header keys here. We what we want to do is our oh, my name is Marcus and my age is 30. So that's then that our two headers you can send. And let's kick it to our server. Okay, so the response below, now that we can see the body, is the reply that we got from our happy server. You can see that we have the name and the age. And let's make sure that it got locked on our console as well. Oh, okay, you can see it, that we have the name and the age both locked to the console as well. Now, when looking closely at the headers, you notice that some of them have a dash in between two words, like the first one, like cache control. And as a JavaScript developer, you probably know how to access these, uh, these keys from, your, from the headers object. So um, let's do it together. We can access them, them together. So to, to get the cache control header, we, we want to do it like this. Good, no, I mean, yes. Okay, so you know that you need to take the brackets and put the string inside. And for easy header fields, you can directly access them with a the dot. Okay, let's change it to the cache control header and to my name to the name we're going to provide. Okay, again back to Postman. We can we can remove the H but send the name. Okay, and now let's make sure everything unlocked correctly. Oh did I miss something? Yes. I need to restart restart. Need to restart the server. Okay, let's do it again. Ah, there you can see that we 
have the uh, cache control value of no cache and the name key with value markers properly locked to the console. And that's what we want to do. That's it for now. In a future video, we will definitely come back to request headers and at least apply validation and do more complex development stuff. Thank you very much for watching the video. We really appreciate you being around and watching the videos. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe to the channel for more videos on Node.js, Happy and Android as well. Enjoy coding and make it rock.